I've learned this about the devil. I've learned this from watching dear friends of mine in the ministry. But also, I used to wonder what the Bible means when a demon goes out of a person, it goes through dry places seeking rest and finds none. Then it says to itself, I'll return to my house from whence I came and find it empty, swept, and the furniture is all put in order and finds seven demons stronger than he and enters into the person. The state of the person at the end is worse than it was at the beginning. I used to wonder what it means by empty and swept and clean and in order. What devil wants a house in order? And then it dawned on me, when you tell a devil, come out, the devil doesn't go, can I pack my bags first? Somebody needs to catch this. When you tell the devil, come out, the devil doesn't go, can I, can I just finish packing my bags just real quick? I just got to take some of my stuff. Just wait right there. I'll be real quick. No, the devil flees that room so quickly, but the issue is he leaves his baggage behind. So when the Bible, what the Bible means by he finds the house put in order is it means all his furniture is still there. If a spirit of pride leaves you and the furniture of pride is still in you. If a spirit of lust leaves you and the furniture of lust is still in you. If a spirit of anger leaves you and the furniture of anger is still there. And that demon will find seven stronger than he. Somebody said, I was delivered from pornography, but I'm still addicted to pornography. No, no, no. The furniture is still there. You see, you need to renew your mind. You are, oh, come on. You've got to move your furniture. You've got to get rid of the old junk. You've got to say, devil, be gone and your junk and your lies and your stealing and your thing. Take it all. I don't want it anymore. That's how we get free. So somebody can be free from a spirit of homosexuality, for instance, and still walk in all the affectation. The hand will still do this and the hip will still go there. Do you know why? Because the furniture is still in the house. It's not enough to get people free. You've got to get them discipled as well. It's not enough to cast out the devil. we got to cast out his furniture too. Somebody can be delivered from the spirit of poverty. Spirit of poverty can still break. And yet, they're still counting coins. They're still stingy with their money. They're still holding on. Have you ever seen a rich person who still holds on to his coins like Naboth? Because you can be free from a spirit, but if the furniture is still there, the devil will come back for his furniture. So on moving day, because that's what deliverance day is, it's moving day. On moving day, pack you a plastic bag and don't even tell the devil to come, up, come back and pick up his stuff. Have you ever got delivered from a tenant that you didn't like? Where my landlord's at? Usually what you do is you pack their junk in a bag and you throw it out with them too. You don't ask them, come back, Nick, come on, you're acting too cute now. I, I see you. You don't come back and say, hey, come back when you come to pick up your stuff. No, no, no. You get the baggage out with them. When the devil leaves your life, when a spirit of lust leaves your life, you don't keep the number, the phone number, and then wonder why am I still possessed. When a spirit of pornography leaves your life, I'm sorry, but you don't keep watching the programs that you were watching before. In fact, to the one who much is given, much more is expected. You decide that you're going to live a much more chaste life than any, anybody else. When the spirit of drugs leaves your life, you don't keep the crack pipe as a souvenir. 
When a spirit of gossip leaves your life, you don't still hang out with Jackie who tells you all the latest news in town. You kick out the furniture too.